In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to add some rhythm checks on two and four in your strumming patterns. So this is adding a really percussive element to your playing. Typically, it's something that you would do when you're playing by yourself, you know, just playing and singing or whatever. And because you're really adding a beat, makes it sound like a beat, what the snare drum would hit while you're playing the acoustic. And you can do it with a drummer. You know, some people do. You just have to be careful when you're playing with a drummer when you're doing this. So first I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to play it for you and then I'll explain it and actually dive into what I'm doing. So as you can hear, I've added what are called chucks on the two and the four of an eighth note strumming pattern. So all I'm playing is an eighth note strumming pattern. But I'm adding chucks on the two and the four to create a beat to accompany myself with. So it just really brings alive um, your playing and really makes it sound like you have a beat going with you. So I'll do a close up and explain exactly what I'm doing. First I'll show you what my strumming hand is doing because that's the part that's doing all the work. I'm not really doing anything with my fretting hand except holding the chords. So I'll just demonstrate it one more time slowly. And what I'm doing to get those chucks is I'm going through the strings with my pick as my hands coming down on the strings so my hand is deadening all the strings and then I'm dragging my hand and my pick through the strings so what my hand is doing is it's pretty much going just a split second before my pick and coming down on top of the strings and that allows my pick to go through the strings without them ringing out and the way I do it is I turn my hand flatter than normal and get more on this part of my hand to do it and just drag it all the way through the strings. And by the time I've gone all the way through the strings, my hand looks like this. And there's other ways to do it. You could just do it more with this part of your hand to stop the strings and then only drag your pick through the first three or four strings, which a lot of people do it that way. You know, so you can try that out and see if it feels better. I just like the other technique. It feels more natural to me. But it is a bigger motion, so it might be more difficult for you. So that's the first thing to really work on is with the chord or with just open strings to be able to get that chuck sound. And it's not going to be easy at first. Don't think you're just going to try it the first time and it's going to work. It's going to take a lot of just messing around and seeing how you can get it. And like I've said before, everyone's hands are different. So it's not, you know, how I do it might not be exactly perfect for how you do it. And with guitar, it's just important to find the best way for, that works for you. Because, you know, your hand might not feel comfortable doing it the way I do it. Or your hand might be bigger than mine and is able to do it without going all the way through like mine does. Or it might be smaller and you have to find a different way. So just really take your time and figure out what's the best way for you to do it. So once you have that chuck, then you can add it back in. And I'm, like I said, I'm just doing eighth note rhythm. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And then once you have that, you could try it with all down strums, which is a little more difficult. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. And then you could try it with more complicated rhythms and just do it on the two and four. You know, the sky's the limit with this. So the most, but the most important thing is just to get those chucks down right now and get it down with the eighth note rhythm. And I'm going to show you more examples of doing this in later lessons. So if you can just get the chucks down in the eighth note rhythm for now, that will be good enough. And I should have mentioned that the rhythm I was playing in the example was 
C major for two bars and E minor for two bars. So. For practice, I want you to get this down, um, this technique of doing the chucks. And you can just start off by holding one chord and doing it or holding no chord and just doing it with the open strings and really practice that technique that I showed you. And it's going to take you some time to get used to doing this. This is a you know, fairly advanced technique, but once you get it down, it's just going to come natural to you and you'll be able to add it anytime you want. So just work on it really slowly till you get it down. You know, don't try to put it into time or with any chord progression at first. Just get that technique down. And then once you have the technique down, you can do the example that I showed you and then, you know, come up with your own. You just have to put in them on the two and the fours where it's going to sound the strongest and really give that nice backbeat. So just work on this and you can still move on to the next lesson where we're going to move into something else and just work on this at the same time. Just add it in your practice routine. And this is something that we'll do more of in future lessons. So it's really important to get down now. But, you know, just take it slowly and we'll come to it again later. So go ahead and move on to the next lesson and we'll keep moving forward.